this is my second retake, and I'm going to be doing, um, talking about what I, my predictions are for my, for the Nintendo Direct that's happening, um, at some point this month, probably, and not next year. I, why do I keep bringing up in these retakes? Well, not, this is the first retake this last year. I was trying to do some editing and it went a bit wrong and I accidentally deleted the whole video. But apart from that, though, it is going well. And I've, me and Rara have been trying to figure out what we think that they're going to talk about in 2018's Direct and um, January Direct. And I don't know. We don't know anything about it yet, and I don't think it's been officially announced that's going to happen this month yet by Nintendo. So let's just see um, what I put on the list, and yes, I um, will um, talk about it. And first, I'm going to do the 3DS games because Nintendo like doing the 3DS games in this order, and also the 3DS games are the um, people probably what not people want to be watching this video about, but my predictions are they're going to probably talk about Yokai Watch 3, I've got the game right here, I personally really like Yokai Watch 3, it's a great game, and stuff, and yeah, it's out in the UK, it's not out in America yet, I don't think, and I think it's coming out in um, February the 8th, I could be wrong in America, in America, but yeah, this um, is, it's a great game. I re really recommend um, playing it when it comes out, if, especially if you like the Yokai Watch series. And yeah, I think they're going to talk about it even in the UK one. Just announcing that's actually out. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all I want to talk about that, that game. They'll, I'm sure they're going to um, talk about Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. I've been told that it's got a finally revealed its actual release date. I like the Kirby series, I've not played many games in it, but I enjoyed the games that I liked, I played, and, yeah, it's, and if you want a portable version of Kirby's Epic Yarn, um, then this is probably the best time. I, I think also they're going to talk about a new remake slash port for the Nintendo 3DS. Let's be honest, they are going to do a, um, a new remake and port. They've been doing this for ages now, and you know it's. They've been doing it every, every year now, haven't they? Because they're doing um, Mario and Luigi's um, Bowser's Inside Story, and I think they're adding some Bowser Junior in Journey. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. I don't support that series. I know a lot of people do. Yeah, I'm. I'm really, I'm I'm not the massive RPG fan, even though I've played a lot of Yokai Watch and Pokemon and stuff. Other RPGs that aren't a bit different to those games and stuff that doesn't involve you catching monsters don't seem to appeal to me as much. They might be fun. I know a lot of people do like the games, and I think they are going to talk about Mario Luigi's um, Bowser's Inside Story definitely in the in the January Direct, and probably they'll talk about a new one that's coming out, that, and or something like that. I think, though, that it's hitting now the DS or 3DS series at times, so it's, it'd be funny if they remade a game, for one of these games for the 3DS, on the 3DS. <laughs> uh, I could see Nintendo doing that, to be honest. I don't know why, but it seems a bit pointless, but they could see them doing it. And I think they will talk about an indie game for the um, 3DS, or a indie game, <laughs> that's how they like to describe it. Anyway, obviously the 3DS is pretty much dead, and Nintendo really should start admitting it. They might also reveal like a new 3DS costume, and maybe Amiibo, I can imagine. They all... I say costume, I mean like design for it, like, you know, like the special editions they do. Don't know why they just do. Anyway, and Rara and I are very excited to now finally talk about the Nintendo Switch side. I would like to say beforehand that twenty games, unless they unless they're accidentally pushed back into two thousand twenty, like um, Yoshi's um, Craft 
Unexpected World, and because that was obviously meant to come out last year, but it actually pushed back to this year. And let's speaking of which, Yoshi's Crafted World will is definitely going to be uh, announced and um, talked about because we've finally got a release date, and it's March the twenty ninth, I believe. It's it's a, I think it looks a great game. It I haven't played all of. The Yoshi series, I have played a bit of the original one, and I played um, a bit of um, Epic Yarn, not Epic Yarn, that's uh, be Woolly World, even, <laughs> sorry, and about getting that mixed up, and also I played um, New Yoshi's Island, and even, I won't talk about that game, I know it's a bit of a controversial opinion there, I like, well, people don't like it much. And I definitely, I wouldn't say it's my least favourite game in the world, but I can see the music not being the best. However, let's talk about the um, other games, like um, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. It's coming out very soon. I'm sure they'll talk about it. And I'm hoping they'll talk about a bit of DLC for it. It makes sense. There are other things I'll talk about DLC later in time, but I do think they could do some free DLC just to... Make the deluxe part more deluxe. <laughs> because, to be honest, why is it deluxe? And anyway, I think, yeah, I don't have much to say about it. And I have found out that Blue Toad is actually in it. I think in the original one I said that there wasn't any Blue Toad. However, he is in it now, or being found in it. So that's great. I love you, Blue Toad. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> anyway, um,. Let's talk about Metroid Prime 4. I feel there will be a possible chance that Metroid will be finally talked about, or at least some footage. Not much, I don't think. I think it could possibly come out at the end of this year. I do think they probably, if it's coming out this year, they'll pro definitely talk about it a little bit now, nearer the end, maybe nearer the end. However, if it's not coming out this year, I think it's very likely that um, it will be coming out soon. The um, It's going to have to come out in 2020, and I think they'll talk about it in E3. And I, I, I don't know, I've never played a Metroid Prime for, for, well, Metroid Prime before, and I have played some of the original ones, but not many of the um, more... Like the 3D ones at all. I I heard that they're very good though, so maybe it's the time for me to try them out. I don't know. Um, well, I see. I guess. I think there's also been rumours that there could be a Metroid Prime trilogy. I'm just imagining Nintendo say we're actually going to release them all individually with no updates at all, and they're about ninety pounds each. Um, because that's what they're doing with the Wii U ports. I can't see them changing it for. Metroid, either that or they're just going to do um, other M, and let's not talk about that game. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, let's um, move on to Luigi's Mansion 3. See, I I have this feeling that they're not going to talk about it. I don't know why. I feel like they, this is just, I don't know, there's, there's a feeling that I have in me that kind of says no. Especially yesterday, I felt, no, it's, they don't want to talk about it. Um, they could talk about it, but I don't think they're going to talk about it. Anyway, yeah, I don't think they're going to talk about Luigi's Mansion 3. Maybe they'll just show some little things off. I could be very wrong. They could just do 90 minutes on Luigi's Mansion 3 and probably get us all bored at that point. But I doubt Nintendo would do that. Let's talk about another game known as Fire Emblem. I know a lot of people... Love Fire Emblem. I feel if they, I feel this. I have heard the rumor. I don't know if it's true. I think they might be doing some sort of Fire Emblem thing soon, like this, like a direct thing or something. I'm not sure. However, if that is the case, then I think they're not going to talk about it because they probably want to save it for that direct or event thing. I'm, I could be very wrong. If it isn't happening, that direct thing, and I'm just making it all up. Then obviously I think they're going to talk about it because it's meant to come out this year. I think it was meant to come out last year, but it was pushed back. I don't know much about the Fire Emblem series, so I really can't say 
but I know a lot of people like it. It just doesn't like make me feel like I want to play it anytime soon. Um, yeah. So so anyway, let's move on to town, and this is the game that's um, developed by Game Freak. I don't know this game. I feel that if it's definitely coming out this year, I feel. Yeah, uh, well, they're going to talk about it, but I have this feeling it's going to be pushed back to 2020, and I don't know why I feel like that. Yeah, I do feel it's going to be pushed back to 2020, so I could be wrong, but I, I hope I'm I'm wrong. But yeah, if it is coming out this year, I do think it's definitely we're going to see it. Okay, Animal Crossing. Again, this game I do think we're going to see. I I don't know why. I just feel there's more likely they're going to talk about that than Luigi's Mansion 3. I, again, this is a franchise I haven't played much. I know it's either love or hate. I've My sister's played it, and she loves it. So, New Leaf, at least. She's not played all of them. But, yeah, I think... Yeah, it's... it's you're going to love it or hate it type of franchise. And a lot of people love it. I'm sure Rara would love it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I think that's very likely of what Nintendo are going to talk about it. There's also a few little other things I want to talk about with Nintendo. However, I'm going to move on from them and leave them to later. Okay, um, let's move on to third party, and that will... I think they're going to talk from Square Enix about... They're going to talk about Final Fantasy, and... The, all those ports, because there's like 20 of them coming out. Also, I do have to point out that I do think if it's a direct mini, they're not going to talk about any third party, but like last year. But I do think if they are going to come out, then if it isn't a Nintendo, if it isn't a Nintendo mini, then I think they're going to talk about a lot of third party support. And Final Fantasy is definitely going to be talked about. Um, if if they are, if it isn't a Nintendo Direct Mini, because there's like about 20 of them that are coming out, to be honest, it's probably, I don't know why they just don't release the whole series at this point, but oh well, um, yeah, I think, yeah, Final Fantasy will be all that Square will do, I feel there's also possibly some more, um, a Sonic game, maybe, I think a brand new Sonic game, and I think they'll also talk about Team Racing, because it's been pushed back, but yeah, I think a brand new Sonic game will be talked about. Hopefully, um, like a, maybe some it's like a sequel, but not a sequel to Sonic Mania. I'm sure we'll all love a like a classic Sonic game. Anyway, let's move on to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I do think, obviously, it's published by Nintendo, so it's more of a second party game. But it's <laughs> it's I think they're going to talk about it because it's. It's like a, Nintendo are getting the rights to make a game that's got Marvel characters in it. Why wouldn't they want to talk about it? It just seems so obvious to me. And, yeah, I think that's a very likely option. Oh, I was, forgot to show the Sonic game when I was talking about it. I know this isn't actually going to be the game that they're going to be releasing yet. But, yeah, Sonic and Rush Adventure, really good game. I love a port of this, actually. Anyway, or... I can say port a remake or something, or so possibly of the original one as well. I don't know which one I prefer more, but I, cause I haven't finished that game yet. But I am really enjoying what I have played so far. Let's move on from Sonic and Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I also do think that Capcom will um, be definitely revealing some sort of new game. I don't know what, but I just feel that they all do some really weird port or something. I'm sure it could be Mega Man, it could be um, uh, Street Fighter, and or something even completely different. Maybe something new or something. I don't know. I'm sure. Um, I'll rep. Maybe rep. I don't know. Not Retro Studios. Ubisoft. That's it. I'm sure you, they'll probably talk about a new game that possibly collaboration with Nintendo or something. Uh, they do like to talk about a collaboration with Nintendo at E3, so they get um, should name really badly wrong. And also all those people who know how to pronounce that name right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not good at Japanese <laughs> or any other language apart from gibberish. Anyway, and 
yeah, let's um, move on to... Oh, probably talk, they'll talk about a few indies, They especially big ones that are coming up. They generally do, maybe, I think about two, maybe. Uh, they could talk about more, maybe less. And let's talk about, finally, DLC, I think Nintendo will talk about. I think they're going to do some Super Mario Party um, and DLC. I think some maybe boards, maybe some new characters. I think there was a rumour with they talk, did have some DLC rumoured thing for it. But to be fair, there's probably rumours for every single video game remade on one cartridge for about 20 quid, so, you know, I don't, shouldn't date rumours as a piece of fact at all, in fact, they're probably more likely wrong, or, I mean, I mean, more likely wrong, I mean 90% wrong, anyway, let's move on and, and go to, um, from the next one, Super Smash Bros, first DLC, I, they probably want to talk about, because, obviously, they haven't shown any footage of Joker yet, and I could see them also talking a bit about Piranha Plant. I, I, uh, if, if they're not going to do anything like that, I, they might also reveal a new character, then though maybe they might want to hold it on for a little longer. We'll see. However, I, I don't think it's going to be too long until we will get revealed the next character. Anyway, we talked about um, DLC, and let's move finally t- to, um, I'm also, I forgot to mention um, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. I'm sure they're going to talk about that as well, because it's coming out very soon. And anyway, let's go on to um, other game, little games that I want to talk about before I go, because let's be honest, I do think a new game will be revealed at this time. And I think, at this um, direct anyway, and I think it will be... Um, Either Pikmin 4 or Star Fox. Probably a remake, so like remaking Star Fox games. I don't know which one's more likely. I don't. I, I like the Star Fox franchise a lot. I've never played Pikmin. And you're calling yourself a Nintendo fan. <laughs> yes, I do call myself a Nintendo fan, but I do think, yeah, um. It's either gonna be Star Fox that I have definitely played, um. And and I really enjoy, so I wouldn't mind a um, Star Fox game. Maybe even a port of Star Fox the Wii U version that didn't have very good. Obviously, there was they had very bad controls, so I could see them obviously fixing up for the Nintendo Switch. Probably a good thing if that's the case. So yeah, I think yeah that will they'll talk about one of them. I did mention think originally they might talk about an F Zero game. However, I feel they like might just leave that for E Three if that was the case. Ace, pardon me, and yeah, I don't think there will be any n- new Mario sports game spin-offs because they've got a lot already coming out for that, so I don't think they will, I could be wrong, and the final one will be, um, will be Pokemon uh, 2019, the game that, um, I'm obviously really excited for, and I don't know why I'm going to be holding up Pokemon Platinum, because technically Pokemon Platinum is obviously an old game, and I don't think there's going to be a Gen 4 remake. However, I'm holding up a Pokemon game because it was the first one I could hold. And yeah, I do think there will be a new Pokemon... I, I do think there's a possibility for a new Pokemon game to be announced. If if not, it'll be a, a um, Game Freak's um, Pokemon Direct. I don't know which is going to happen. I hope there will be a new game, Pokemon Games out. If it is announced, I think it'll only be like a five-second trailer just saying... Maybe the titles and stuff, and say it's coming out. Get excited. Maybe a release date. Yeah, I don't know. I could be very wrong. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all the things I want to talk about. And yeah, I'm I'm very excited about this year. And I do think that um, yeah, I think this game this year is going to be better than 2018 for video games. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. I could be very right. Anyway, I I don't know. I but yeah, that's what I think will be revealed. Um, I will talk about want to talk about a few little things before I go. I do want when the Nintendo Direct does happen. I do want to live stream it. 
if but I don't know it might not happen I will warn you straight away because um because of technical issues possibly because I did have a technical issue and because this is my second time doing this video because the first one I actually deleted and also I I'm not, I could, so it could go wrong, and also I might not be able to do it because of timing, because it's generally about 11 o'clock when I do it. So, yeah, I do think there will, I do want to, though, so if you, I recommend looking out for it. I'll be doing the UK um, Nintendo Direct because it's, as well as, because I'm from the UK, it's also um, slightly earlier. Very slightly, and pretty well. The last one was anyway. So, thanks for watching. Um, I w wouldn't mind if you shared this with people if you think someone would like it. Don't share it with people you don't think like it. And if you're someone who doesn't really like it, but you think you know someone who would like it, I wouldn't mind if you told them and stuff about it because I want to make the fan base a bit bigger. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and. I don't really have a fancy outro, but I'll show Rarens. He'll say goodbye.